everybody. Good morning. This is Chris Scrat Weedleton with Organizing Maniacs, and I am um, I'm early for an appointment with a client today. Uh, but I was having a thought about something that um, I talked to a client yesterday that I thought might be to benefit to people out there in the world that um, are really struggling with making decisions. And uh, hi, Brad. <laughs> um, um, so I think it's it's really hard to get rid of stuff and we all struggle with that and in a world where we're consumed with things coming our way every single day and people giving our things giving us things that we don't necessarily want want to keep anymore um, making those decisions about what to keep and what to get rid of it's really difficult uh, one because I don't know how many times I have been given things that I'm like eh. I don't really want this I don't really love this but somebody gave it to me and I'm just gonna keep it right so we have guilt about getting rid of stuff um, that people gave us so I want to give you permission today to just get rid of stuff that somebody gave you that you feel really guilty about so just go right ahead and do that oh, hi Jen um, but the conversation I was having with my client yesterday that I felt was really interesting and that I want to share is that um, hi Marcelo? Is that is this that um, I'll give you an analogy that my husband will appreciate this. When he and I started dating, uh, he used to say every single Saturday and every single Sunday, like we can't go out to dinner because there's a game on and it's the best game of the season and. At first I was like okay it's the best game of the season I get it we're just gonna hang out and uh, you know watch the game and then he used that all the time like everything every single game was the best game of the season and at some point that whole thought of like hi Gina um, that whole thought of like hey this is the best game of the season it kind of wears off right you can't just use that all the time so I was working with a client and she was doing that. She was like, you know, all, all, all of the pants are really important. All of the Christmas is really important. All of the office supplies are really important. All of the shirts are really important. So as we got to working together more and more, I realized that she really was like crying wolf. That she was saying everything is the best game of the season, right? And so we had this conversation about understanding that sometimes you have to really set priorities. And if you, if you die tomorrow and if something happened to you, would people really know what's really important to you? Like if you are no longer here to tell people what's really valuable of your stuff, would they be able to tell it without you? And that's my challenge to you today is like, if you have all of this stuff around you and you don't know what's really important to you and people don't know what's really important to you, they may end up throwing things away that they would have no idea that's important to you because you've been saying best game of the season about everything around you. So, um, um, so share your thoughts. I wonder like, what are you thinking? What is your takeaway? What did you get from this question? And uh, and is that something that you, um, you know, that you may be guilty of saying everything is the best game of the season when there's really maybe like a handful. So um, so Brad and I agreed that he couldn't use best game of the season every Saturday and Sunday anymore, and maybe even Monday. So he was given a certain number of games that he could use, and he became really good at that. And when he said this is the best game of the season. I knew exactly what he meant and, and it was easy for me to identify which game we needed to watch and whatnot. But anyway, so, um, so what is your best game of the season? I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you later.